Good morning, Olive Branch. Meteorologist Sam Record with you on Wednesday morning. Uh, low temperature about 59 degrees as you get up and get out and about this morning. Nice day for a walk, nice day for a jog. Hey, just a nice day to take that cup of coffee on the patio and watch the sunrise. As I said, 59 degrees outside right now. Temperatures are cool. Uh, humidity is still very low. That's part of our weather headline for the next seven days. We're going to have lots of sunshine, folks. Uh, slow warming trend. We're going to slowly uh, warm up a degree or two each day in the seven-day forecast uh, to back to near normal by the end of the seven-day forecast. And rain chances will continue to be very, very low throughout this seven-day forecast. So if you like sunshine, you like Mild temperatures uh, this week is one that you will really uh, enjoy. Nine o'clock today, sunny sky is 67 degrees. Noon today, still sunny, 79 degrees. And at five o'clock this afternoon, 84 degrees and sunny. So a very nice day in store for all of us. Here in the Mid-South, uh, cold front is now stationary as they always have become when they move through this time of year. It's still way out in the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, it's blocking that southerly flow from bringing moisture back into the area. High pressure still dominates us. All of these high pressure ridges and systems are going to move to the east, and that's going to allow uh, Gulf moisture to start creeping back in. You see the front's uh, still stationary. It's way out in the Gulf of Mexico by this time tomorrow and uh, starting to erode and, and kind of fade away by this time on Friday morning. Now, Tropical Storm Erica continues to churn through the Atlantic Ocean, moving to the west at about 18 miles an hour. Uh, sustained winds right now are 40 miles an hour, so it's still a fairly weak tropical storm, but uh, National Weather Service has this trek continuing across the Dominican Republic. In fact, there are tropical storm warnings in Puerto Rico right now, and it continues to move to the west-northwest, and if this is true, then it will move into uh, the Florida Peninsula about, uh, well, early on Monday morning, and and now if it makes its normal turn back to the northeast, uh, we may not be impacted by it at all. But if it crosses the peninsula into the Gulf of Mexico, Erica might bring us rain chances uh, by the middle of next week. Here is the forecast. <clears throat> it looks like this. You got 85 degrees for a high today. Low uh, tonight, 61. Sunny skies, 85 again for your high on uh, Thursday with sunny skies. Low 63, so the nights are still cool and nice. Warming up a little bit on Friday, 88 degrees for your high, 67 for a low. Closer to normal Saturday, 89 for a high, 70 for a low. And then we uh, get into the rest of the weekend and early next week, and you see we uh, get back to normal. Normal highs, 91 degrees this time of year, so uh, Sunday we're close to normal. Monday, 91. Tuesday, 90. We have a 20% chance of showers on Tuesday. I put that in there because I think there will be some moisture uh, left over from Tropical Storm Erica. That will uh, bring us slight rain chances at least. Keep in touch with weather all day long. Follow me on Twitter at WeatherMayor. Hey, there's the information there. DeSotoWeather.net is the fan page and uh, we're streaming live now on obtvlive.com and you can see us on obtvlive.com from time to time in the morning hours where we give you just the weather without any of the drama.